The, the third feature we look at today is uh, organization notes. So organization notes, similar in principle to masters. So again, it's around capturing knowledge, capturing your best practice knowledge from previous projects and positioning that at the right place at the right time on all future projects. And again, around efficiencies, it's allowing your colleagues to make the right decisions more quickly on projects because they've got that knowledge at their fingertips. So this is a feature that's uh, been released quarter three, 2021. So I'm going to demonstrate this on the test server. It's getting launched very, very soon. This time we're going to use Unicrass 2015 systems and products. It's the, the same software product, just different style of content. And you can see on the right hand side here, if you want to add an organization note, you just pop open the tab, very similar to spec notes, but this isn't going to be captured just against the specification. Th these notes will be then displayed every time any one of your colleagues uh, is going to specify, for example, the commissioning of a CCTV system. So you can put your note there, you get the same format and options. And that's now organization wide, not just project wide. You get a little highlight there, comes up in yellow to say, now this has an organization note against it. So let's have a look at a, a, an org note, which has uh, been written previously. So we'll just drop down to the radiators here as part of the low temperature heating system. The right hand side has got technical guidance authored by MBS. It's got all of the manufacturer content from MBS source. And then here is the organization note that I've previously written, hyperlinks, bold, bullet line, uh, hyperlinks to send an email to the office champion. And also in that same area, uh, the ability to edit and delete and see who's the person that last added it. And of course, the spec notes that uh, exist alongside that. Here's another example of go to air source heat pumps. And here, a whole host of knowledge that's being captured at that point, helping with that decision making process. Right at that project dashboard, you can jump across to the org notes area. And that's got one of those data grids that you'd be familiar with if you use course before, where you can see who created it, when they created it, uh, the context of where that note's against. So you can get a collection of all of those org notes in one data grid that go across all of your content for your project. Now, when you start a new project, all of that information will be there for the specifier to use. So starting a new project now, adding a CCTV system uh, in, adding a heat pump system in, you'll notice that even these, though these are coming in with the blank MBS templates, now alongside the MBS guidance are the org notes that the, the expert of your practice has written. So they're for heat pumps, they're for surveillance system, not hidden away on the uh, intranet, not hidden away on the bookshelf of somebody's email system, but they're at the point that's needed for when the specifier is writing the specification. 